miracle that day from my trust. I'm very honored and grateful to the opportunity to give my presentation. Today, I will give an overview and the development visions of our company followed by the wellness strategies within our office and hotel development. Mori Trust is a family company. In 1951, my grandfather started real estate development and operation of, operation of office buildings. My father started the hotel business in 1973, and I became the third president three years ago. Currently, approximately 100 properties under operation. Under my leadership, I have promoted three corporate principles. First, the company is a public institution. We should operate with the philosophy of contributing to society. Second, the company is at one with society. Our strategies should change and evolve, reflecting the times. And lastly, the company should develop business with sound strategies and tactics. Let me now dive into our development visions. What are the most important considerations and factors in real estate development? In the past, functionality of a building was most important. For example, ceiling height, free access floors, and BCV functions were important factors for offices. Area of standard rooms, room facilities, amenities, and security, so on, were important for hotels. The past was a product out kind of approach. Is functionality still the most important factor today? Today, what is sold in offices that, uh, in offices other than its function are comfort, health, and productivity. Management of employees' health is gaining recognition and prominence in Japan, illustrated by the introduction of the health and productivity stock selection program to the stock market. This program co-sponsored by a government agency and the Tokyo Stock Exchange, select and recognize outstanding enterprises that put out exemplary efforts to promote health management on their employees at a higher level. In addition, health management is a rising topic in the financial world. The Development Bank of Japan recently introduced the health management rating, which evaluates the quality and the track records of companies' approach to employee health management. This shift in focus towards employee health management stems from the Japanese society belief that the source of value creation is the employees and business performance is influenced by employee well-being and satisfaction. Therefore, caring for people's comfort and health is essential in enhancing productivity. According to the study led by Dan Berna, founder of the lifestyle brand Blue Zones, which is one of the keynote presentations in the Wellness Summit last year, one of the secrets of longevity is belonging to a social grouping or attending face-based services 
for mental health. From this, we can see that key factors in maintaining health are belonging to community, communicating, and socializing. Therefore, we have set wellness for all of our visions for real estate development, providing a comfortable workplace and a wholesome environment will improve the work's health, workers' health and satisfaction, which will encourage productivity and innovation. Let me focus your attention to our newest project, Tokyo World Gate, opening next year in Tokyo before the Tokyo Olympics. The vision for Tokyo World Gate is creating first and wellness for all. In order to achieve comfortable and stress-free environment, the design of the lobby brings the atmosphere of the outside landscape inside. It is designed by the world-famous architect, Kengo Kuma. The rental space of the office for us are spacious and calm free. Tenants can install internal staircases, allowing for efficient and creative office layouts, and workers to clearly move vertically in their office. This will accelerate their internal communication and collaboration. The top floor of the building will be dedicated to the Edition Hotel. It will become the first Edition Hotel in Japan, which adapts the lifestyle enriching concept and promotes social interactions. The abundance of greenery is one of the most appealing features of this project. About 5,000 square meters, or 30% of the site area, will be covered by green space. This environment will not only refreshing for workers, but the tranquil atmosphere will promote their vitality. There will be wooden decks with Wi-Fi coverage by the water side so workers can enjoy lunch on a sunny day or work outside, providing a refreshing space to depart from the mundane. We also provide an open lounge in the building, where it will become a third place for workers and local people to communicate with each other. We believe that these kind of social encounters and interactions will bring inspiration to further trigger innovation for workers. Thanks to this powerful vision, the vacancies in this office building has been fully booked in advance. Next, I would like to talk about travel and hotels. Recently, customer experience has become one of the top priorities of travelers. I believe that customers' needs can be expressed with four E's. Entertainment, education, aesthetic, and escape. Customers are seeking refreshment and escape from daily life through spiritual and physical satisfaction. Reflecting customers' needs, we have developed various hotel concepts. I'd like to introduce two examples. The one is Ilafusui Hotel on Miyako Island in Okinawa, and another is the Suilan Hotel in Kyoto. Let's first watch the movie of Ilafusui Hotel on Miyako Island.
Thank you for watching the movie. I hope you like it. As we, fall, we saw, the color of the ocean seen from the cliffs are deep, while the shallow water changes color with the rise and fall of the tide. The mystical and, and breathtaking views can be seen on this island because Miyako are islands formed by the rising coral reefs. The abundant wildlife and the geographical features of Miyako are world famous among divers. The island has an abundant number of feral foods and natural hives. Guests can enjoy local Okina cuisines arranged in a contemporary style and enjoy customized fresh herbal teas, blended according to their body condition. I would like to add, Miyako Island is said to be very spiritual. There are many ancient spiritual sites where the local people worship their ancestors as deities. At our hotel, wellness concierge are present 24-7 to assist guest travels. We conduct tours to the spiritual site on the island while listening to traditional stories and learn about the local heritage and cultures. We hope that they stay at this hotel can assist the guest to balance out the mind and body and maintain a bright lifestyle. Next, I would like to introduce you the Suilan Hotel in Kyoto a sister hotel of Ilaf. It is located next to the World Heritage Temple Tenryuji. Guests can enjoy the four seasons of nature with the beauty of traditional Japanese architecture and gardens with an essence of modern style. We offer local Japanese cuisine arranged in a contemporary style and experiences such as the Kyoto Green Tea Ceremony, Jeju Stone Therapy, and Morning Zen Medication. I re received favorable comments from our guests. We are very honored that last week, the Condé Nast Traveler published Sri Lanka as the number one hotel for 2090s Leaders' Choice of Top 10 Hotels in Japan. <laughs> Thank you. We have received this award for two consecutive years. We are now confident in combining Japanese traditional style with modern style. Lastly, I would like to add our new hotel project development in Nara, the city next to Kyoto. Nara is the historical and spiritual city surrounded by countless world heritage sites, such as Kasuga Grand Shrine and Kofuku Temple. Our new hotel site is unique, located in the center of a national park with historical architecture on its glands. It is also unique that the Buddhist vegetarian diet, shoujin food, was officially adapted at temple's meals here in Nala around 1,100 years ago. Since killing is profited in Buddhism, they use local and seasonal vegetable ingredients. So, shojin food is called the Japanese vegan food. By, um, by unraveling the history and mystical wonders of these ancient cities' past and nature through shojin food and other attractions, we hope to spread the appeals of Nala to the world. I would like to wrap up my presentation by sharing my thoughts. Real estate development must be preceded by proactively considering 
and looking several years in the future. I envision that there will be shift in the market's values towards their work environment, as well as in travel's values and expectations towards hotels. Through these changes, I believe the importance of wellness is consistent. Wellness is essential in all environments, from developing a stress-free and innovation office space to serenity, and get away experience of a hotel, resort, and travel. Thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>